Good afternoon. Welcome to the Now Detroit. I'm Heather Catalo. And I'm Carolyn Clifford. We're going to begin with breaking news. New video just into our newsroom of a man setting fire to a Detroit liquor store. It went up in flames just days after the manager's car was torched. Employees say they've been getting threats all week ever since a customer said she was attacked there on Monday. The owners are claiming it was self-defense and that there's video to prove it. But as the now Detroit Simon Chowdhury shows us, that customer insists she's innocent. The owners of a liquor store are reeling after their business has been destroyed. They say someone firebombed it. This after a week of accusations they say aren't true. This video is hard to watch. Paletta Jones says she was beaten after being accused of stealing a beer bottle Monday. Community activists held a press conference earlier this week. By Friday morning, the owners of Chalmers Plus say their business was destroyed after being firebombed. In this newly released surveillance video, you can see a masked man entering the store around 1.30 a.m. He starts a fire and then runs out of the store. And in this video taken Thursday, you can see the manager's car was also set on fire. He told me somebody burned my car. And he's been having phone calls threatening, private. You're what, not going to see your babies. You're not going to see. We're going to burn you down. And that's what it happened. Employees tell us it could take at least a year to reopen the store. Now the store owners released a video defending their employee, telling us the woman was drunk and stealing. And when the employee confronted her, she bit his hand. They say he hit her in self-defense. In this video, you can see the woman stumbling and putting a bottle in a bag and attempting to walk out. It's just happening all over again. Pauletta, who denies all accusations against her, has been advised by her lawyer not to talk to the media, but she had an emotional reaction to the video of her being hit by the employee. I really don't see anything in this video that's saying that I should have been attacked like this. No matter what did or did not happen, Allegedly, it's no way and there was no reason for somebody to take matters into their own hands and savagely attack that woman the way that she did, beating her um, repeatedly with a beer bottle. Police are investigating the incident inside the store and the car and store fires. The owners of Chalmers Plus say they've been attacked because of Pauletta's accusations, but activists disagree. I don't think that the community had anything to do with this at all. Police are investigating. So far, no arrests have been made in any of the incidents. On Detroit's east side, Simon Chowdhury for the Now Detroit. Certainly can